and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is TechFlow. And this, more specifically, is my review of Asus's new Wi-Fi 6 mesh system. Shoutouts to Squarespace for sponsoring this Wi-Fi 6 coverage and letting me find out why this Wi-Fi system is worth over £400. Now we actually have one of these sets to give away to one of you guys, yes, a lucky viewer. All you've got to do is like the video and let us know down below what your current broadband speeds are at home. And that is literally it, you are entered. In this video I'm going to let you guys know what you get in the box, which is obviously two Zen nodes. And can I just note, the box had a really satisfying hinge to it, really cool. The manuals, ethernet cables, power cables, and I actually think the power cables are the worst design element of this entire system because the actual plug that you plug onto the transformer doesn't lock in. I think it's meant to, but on mine, they never did. I'm also gonna set it up and I'm gonna do some proper speed tests and test these things out to the max, as well as try to figure out why it retails for 400. Pounds. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So first off, let's talk about the design. And if we're gonna talk about the design of a wireless router, I think we need to address the elephant in the room, which is some of Asus's previous router designs. But it's just an ordinary crabby, oh my goodness! And I think even TP-Link have some mental ones as well. My eyes! I mean, what's going on with that, really? Who would want one of them sat on their desk? So it's actually really refreshing to see, well, these Zen nodes look like they do. They're actually quite pleasing and small. You can get them in this like gray version that I've got here, or you can get them in white. Anyway, it's got one WAN port on the back for connecting to the internet, then three LAN ports for your current local area networks to connect to, and then it's also on the front got a small light to attract attention. No, I'm not even joking, right on the front there is the only little status light on the bottom and it lights up different colours depending on the mood that it's in. So if it's connected and well, or if it's connected and with a weak signal, for example. So, so far it looks pretty good, but why 400 pounds still? Like, that's mental. So I set the system up through the app and it was actually pretty easy to be honest with you. It identified both of the nodes and then asked me to create a wireless network name, which I did, and then it was pretty much done. The application, to be perfectly honest with you guys, looks really, really tacky in my opinion, but it has all the settings that you need. It lets you monitor and check out the wireless signal strength between both of the nodes. And then as well as that, changing basic settings to do with internet and your local area network, but that is about it as far as the app is concerned. So next I wanted to obviously check out the performance of these things because I'm still baffled as to why they cost £400. Now, it is a Wi-Fi 6 mesh system and these nodes are meant to connect wirelessly to give you loads of coverage around your house. So I wanted to see how well these two units could do that. Now it's all well and good doing these tests to the internet like going to speedtest.net and just doing a quick speed test and seeing what the speeds are but the problem there is that we're limited by our internet connection speed. Now at my house I've got 300 megs so yeah it's, it's pretty fast but these things should be I mean able to reach double that really. So what I did was I set up a local area network test, a speed test across my local area network from a client device and a server. And these are the results. Now I tested the Wi-Fi 6 performance to the main node with a Samsung phone that has Wi-Fi 6 capabilities. And I saw 711 megabits per second, which is absolutely blazing fast and right up there with what we should expect with Wi-Fi 6. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about Wi-Fi 6, we've done a more dedicated video of it on the channel. You can click the banner up there or we'll put it in the description just to learn more about what Wi-Fi 6 is, because it's a big part of this system. But then if we pull up the graph again, you can see that we have a speed test of 504 megabits per second. That was the exact same test on the exact same Samsung phone, but at five gigahertz, no Wi-Fi 6. Now the main place where I think people really want to see the speed tests is connected to the node that is meshed via Wi-Fi 6 to the main node. So for this, I ran six different tests. One with one wall between the two, one with two walls between the two, and one with three walls between the two. And here they are. 
Now these tests were done with me hardwired to the mesh node. So this one was acting as the router, it was Wi-Fi 6 meshing to this one, and I was hardwired to this node. So we are testing here the backhaul speed between these two nodes. And as you can see, even when they are three brick walls apart, we were still getting 150 megabits per second, which is absolutely crazy. Now, I really wanted to put these things through their paces, so I ran three more tests, identical, except from the fact that I wasn't connected to the mesh node with a cable. So it went router, Wi-Fi 6 bridge, and then me wirelessly connecting to this mesh node. These are those results. Now, as you can see from these results, we didn't drop below 100 megabits per second, which is absolutely crazy, really, when these things were three brick walls apart and I was connected via Wi-Fi to the mesh node. Now, this was the final test I wanted to run. You can see it going on screen now, and it's a ping to 8.8.8.8. But not only is it that, I am completely maxing out and stressing the backhaul connection between the two nodes. And as you can see, we're getting a few ping imperfections, but it's really not jumping up that high, which is really nice to see. Now, I've used this as my main Wi-Fi throughout my house for around a week and a half now, and I have to say it's been pretty much flawless, other than a couple of times I've noticed mainly with my iPhone that sometimes it would periodically kick me off the network and then I would join back to it, but it would literally only take a second to join back and it would only happen when I was connected to the mesh node. So it could be a bug that Asus could iron out in the future, but that is the only thing I noticed. Other than that, this thing is flawless. Now let's be real, the only reason you would buy a mesh system like this, especially one that's this expensive, is because you've got a large house and you want to fill it with Wi-Fi, right? Like just one of these would do for my house, for example. And that brings me on to why is this system so expensive? And I think I've cracked it. These are essentially two separate routers that can, if you want them to, function together and that are bought in a kit. But if you didn't want to do that, you essentially could put this in one house and have this in another house, and these can work separately together like they're their own thing. Each of them has their own mode. So either of them can function as a standalone router if you wanted, or one can function as a router and one can connect via AI mesh to it and it can be a wireless mesh node to extend the Wi-Fi network. If you have a wired network running around your house as well, there's also the option to have them both hardwired into the network so they don't have to backhaul to each other and they can just be one network around your house. They can also both function as access points. They can also both function as wireless repeaters. Now this is the crazy one, they can also function in what's called bridge mode. Now I did a little bit of reading about this, and essentially one of them functions as a router, as a normal internet router, and then this one you'd go ahead and you'd place it in your media cabinet. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna completely turn off the Wi-Fi on this node, and only the three Ethernet ports on the back will work. So you'll have a really strong backhaul signal to the main router. And that is quite a niche little scenario that these things can also do that it's not really plastered all over the box. Like when you look at this, you think a mesh system for 400 pounds, but when you get it, it can actually do a hell of a lot more and the only way I found that out was by going through the web UI, which obviously, yes, this has an application, but it also has a web UI, so you can go in there and change all the settings, and it is, to be honest, much more detailed and better than the application, although still looks slightly tacky. But it definitely gives you more options and different bits and bobs to mess around with and change, more so than the app. So Alex, what do you think then? Do you buy this thing? Do you avoid it? What's going on? And I think if you've got a large house, big thick brick walls, you've got about 100 megabits per second coming in and you wanna get that speed around your house without running and tacking loads of cables and hardwiring access points, I think this is a really good way to go. But for now, we need to thank our video sponsor, Squarespace. If you guys don't know about Squarespace, and you should by now, they are the online platform where you can go on there and you can create your own website, portfolio, absolutely anything. Honestly guys, I use Squarespace myself for all of my personal websites, so I wouldn't sit here and recommend them. If they were bad, they're not, they're really good. The websites look absolutely stunning. They've got loads of templates for you guys to choose from. I mean, here's just one of my websites on screen right now, and as you can see, it looks absolutely stunning. All built with Squarespace. 
They've got e-commerce on there so you can sell things on your website. You can do things like check out all of the SEO. You can also get a domain through Squarespace so you can have your own www.whateveryouwant.co.uk or .com. They will tie that to the website for you. It's really pain free. It's not difficult and the best part about it is if you use code TECHFLOW or click on our link below, you'll get 10% off your first Squarespace purchase. But with that being said, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Adios. Thank you.